Researchers are warning the public that refusal to get the coronavirus vaccine could prevent the country from herd immunity. A recent poll conducted by NPR and Maris found that one in four Americans, 25% of us, would refuse to take the shot if offered, and another 5% are still undecided. Scientists say high vaccination levels would mean that any new COVID-19 outbreaks would fade Quickly. And with that, I do want to bring in Dr. Timothy Long, the chief clinical officer at both Alliance Chicago and Health Choice Network. Thanks so much for your time. I appreciate it, sir. Thanks for having me. I mm -hmm. mean, this is a, an important issue, so yep. No, absolutely. I want to start with that news about uh, herd immunity and now one in four Americans saying no thanks to the shot. How do you read that in terms of its impact on how quickly we get out of this long, hard COVID tunnel? Well, we've been through a long period. We can make it. And um, we call that vaccine hesitancy or vaccine confidence, I think might be a better word, where we've got to build up confidence in our science and in our vaccines. We have three that are approved in the United States right now. Um, and all three of them are extremely effective. So I think across the United States, we're doing a very good job. I think we have about 3 million people per day that are getting their shots or jabs, as the UK calls them. Um, so we're on the right path. And this UK variant, medical officials said weeks ago this would become the dominant strain in the U.S. Turns out they were right. It's here. So, number one, why do you think that is? And two, how confident are we that the vaccines already on the market will fight well against this particular strain? Yes, great question. So we are told by our scientists and for the three vaccines that are currently available within the United States, that all three are effective against this UK variant, which is called the B117 um, variant, which is the most common variant of COVID-19 right, right now going across the country, which is more infectious than, than, than we would like. But any of those three vaccines will be effective and we're encouraging everybody. I encourage my patients and every other doctor is probably encouraging their patients to get one of the three vaccines that are currently approved. So we are confident that those vaccines, Moderna, Pfizer, J&J, &J, the ones on the market right now, are a good defense uh, against this variant, even though the longer the virus stays flowing in this country, the more mutations like this we may see. But for where we are tonight, we feel okay. That's absolutely correct. Okay, gotcha. Also, these, we had the map up a second ago about the hotspots now in the U.S. Five states for half the, the cases now. Uh, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Florida. Any through line from those particular states as to why it's getting bad there? And should that change so, the way we give out the vaccine? Well, one thing is what, right, we can change the way we're, we're um, giving out the vaccine. Those states probably need to do um, better targeting of the communities of where there are those hot spots. Those are about represent about 44% of the new COVID vaccine infections within those five states, which probably have about 22% of the US population. So all of those five states are well aware. The CDC is on the ground, let's say, we know in Michigan, and doing um, a lot of um, education to targeted communities to make sure that everyone knows how and has a plan to get the vaccine, knows where they can get the vaccine. President Biden announced that every adult um, by April 19th and after should be able to get the vaccine. So have a plan and go ahead and get it, especially within those five states. That will be one way in which we can reduce this variant's transmission. And AstraZeneca right now, this blood clot issue came up in Europe, and now we have the news uh, today. It's not available yet, has not been approved here in the U.S. You can't get that shot yet, but they have, they have a pretty, I hear what the doctors are saying, it's better to take it than not, but they have a massive PR problem to handle if it does come to this country where we already have a hesitancy problem on top of what they're saying about this blood clot issue. Uh, that is correct, but for us in the United States at this time, it is not approved in the United States, and our approval mechanism will look at all of the European studies. Um, the European investigators have looked at whether these blood clots have been caused by the vaccine or something from the vaccine um, or not. They are very rare, and for those adults in Europe, it is still recommended for the older adults to get the vaccine. I think um, the UK has recommended there might be some alternatives for people under 30, 
but still it is more advantageous for people to get that AstraZeneca vaccine, despite some of the challenges we've seen that are in Europe. And worldwide, that is one of the vaccine makers that was supposed to be um, helpful for many countries. Again, here in the United States, it is not approved. It is not available yet. So we should be monitoring it, but we should not be as concerned yet. We still have three approved vaccines and every American adult should have a plan to get a vaccine. And three million a day. We're moving at a, a, a nice clip. In fact, the CDC director said today, even though cases are up, in, uh, up, deaths are down, and she credited the vaccine for fewer people dying, even in the middle of a case spike. Dr. Timothy Long, thanks so much for your expertise tonight, sir. We appreciate your time. Thank you.